Working in Inventor, you might want to do an animation or a rendering or a rendered animation. So to, to do a normal uh, rendering, um, you can just stay in this normal environment that you've got over here in Inventor and you can just go to the view tab. And from that, you can see there, I can select, you know, put on shadows. You can already see how it's changed um, on the screen over there. Put some reflections on. So if there's any shiny materials, you'll see how, you know, it'll start putting reflections on. Um, you know, you know, make it maybe perspective, so it gives a bit more of a realistic view, um, as well as you put a brown plan if you want to, just to kind of give it, you can see there's the, the reflections over there and the shadows, um, you know, as well as the IBL light, so the lights that are, are being sort of coming from the outside, so soft light, sharp highlights, maybe put on that, and you can see how it looks actually a little bit different there, because there's different lights coming out onto this component over here now. Now, you know, that's one of the easy ways to do it, just to do um, a rendering of that. We just put on realistic and then it'll activate the ray tracing. We start and we'll start ray tracing for you over here. So it'll go a little bit furry or fuzzy and it'll start doing sampling um, where it will just get better and better. And the longer that you sample, the better that the ray tracing is going to get. I'm not gonna really look at this today. What I'd like to just take a look at is going to the Inventor Studio uh, environment. And in the Inventor Studio environment, uh, what I want to do is just take a look at um, how to create a how to create a, a an animation of the camera. Not specifically, you know, you'll you'll see that the the components in this assembly are being animated, but just how to create the the, the camera so that you can you know see the, comp, the 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 assembly being animated, and then from you know animate the camera to take a look at it from one end and then move to the other side while the the animation is taking place. So I'm just going to take off all of these over here and let's go to our environment and activate our Inventor Studio environment. So once this is activated, you'll see in the, the browser, you can see relationships, representations, origin, new folder one. Um, what you'll also see, they'll add additional folders uh, for the additional you know, sort of things that you can do here. So you can do a productions, animations, lighting, cameras, animation, favorites, local lights. So what I'm going to do is let's take a look at the camera. So we click on the camera over here. Um, okay, sorry, I clicked on animate camera. I'm actually create a camera first. So if I, the easiest way to create a camera is just to right click on the screen and create camera from view because that's the view that I want to start off with. So now I've created a camera there. I'm going to zoom out. You'll see there, there's my camera. So this over here is the camera position and then the little square, the cube at the bottom there is where the camera is positioned. I uh, sorry, the, the, the camera is pointing at. Okay, so now once I've done that, I can actually animate this camera now. So click on animate camera and over here it'll say, right, I'm animating the camera over here. And you can say you want it to go from zero to 15 seconds. And then let's click on definition. Now with the definition, you'll see there it, it moves. It actually started um, making some of the components invisible as well, because the animations that I've had is that some of the components um, become transparent as the, the time goes along from zero to 30 seconds. So I click on the camera over here, and it's as easy as just clicking on these arrows and moving it to the new position. See? Okay, let's move that this way over there. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Select. If I click on link to view, you'll see that that's going to be the new camera position over there. I'm happy with that, and I click on OK. So if I go back to the timeline at the bottom over here, let's go click on current or camera one. So now it's looking in camera one. And if I just reverse the, the the animation, you'll see the pistons are going. You'll also see that the casing will get, um, you know, sort of lose its transparency as it goes. The, the wheel is turning. And the camera is also animating from right to left over there. So, you know, this just very quickly, you know, shows me, um, you know, sort of what's going to be happening with it. And uh, if I wanted to, I could then also click on definition and just create the, the second one as well. So maybe it, it moves from 15 seconds to 30 seconds. Now, the other one that we can do as well is also a turntable. So Inventor also allows you to do a turntable around the um, around your, uh, your, your component. So as you can see over here, okay, zero to 30 seconds. Okay, it needs to go around the x-axis so if i just see where that is um if i just move it okay so it's actually going to be the y-axis that it's going to move around so you know y origin okay and then we'll click on okay 
So once I've created this camera animation as well, you'll see here, if I go, I have got, oh, sorry, camera one, I should have actually, let's go over here, and let's just go back, and we'll see what the camera, so there you can see there that it's doing a turntable. Okay. Okay, so it's just a little bit, a uh, little bit slow because you know it's a lot of animation going here, it's a lot of processing power that's going on here as well. Um, but as you can see there, um, we're able to then go and animate this all the way around to the original position. So it's done a turntable all the way around so that we can see, um, you know, see it from every single angle, 360 degrees. And while the the pistons are going up and down, the wheels are turning, um, etc. So yes, yeah, so basically that's just a quick introduction to animating your camera um, in Inventor Studio. Thanks very much for watching.